Hey there everyone, and welcome to another School Rune Showcase. These are three quite depressing new School Runes. Uh, they're all Shadow. And uh, so this first one, the Mimic, it is uh, for a terrible skill. Really, Mimic is a terrible, terrible skill right now, um, especially because the pet damage is so bad. But yeah, so it, just like Mimic Bomb, um, it all it adds is some elemental damage onto the Mimic's damage, which, because it doesn't take any of your own stats on there, uh, any of your own elemental stats, that's where it gets any bonus from. So um, but the main reason why it's so bad is because the damage itself is so low. So if you sh look here at the Mimic, um, if I use Shadow Burn here, my damage is the 60,000 of the Shadow, and it's doing like 30,000 Shadow. The way it works is it will do the base damage uh, of this Shadow. Um, that 10,988 is literally 10,988, does not crit. And then the 40% is 40% of the pet damage. So um, yeah, uh, you saw there it's about 30,000 it's doing with it. And then if I put this on and I hit with Shadow Burn again, if you can look, it's tricky because there's the speech. We'll look on another enemy. Uh, basically, it's towards 90,000. It's quite hard to read, um, but yeah, it's tripling it. So it triples any da uh, Shadow Damage output, which is it's nice when you look at what I'm doing here because I'm only hitting about 60,000. Except if you add some damage onto my character here, so this one here adds a load of damage onto it. Now at 38,000. Now if we look at Shadow Burn, it's still going to be hitting 30,000 from its one, but I'm going to be hitting, what's that, like 250, 100? Depends on the critting. But yeah, basically, once you increase your damage output, Mimic's damage becomes pathetic. And if I just increase my damage lots, um, or I need some mana, um, then yeah, I'm going to be hitting loads, and it's still going to be hitting a tiny amount. You can see here, I'm hitting like 1.5 million, and it's hitting the same amount as before. So yeah. I'm not going to show any more of that. Basically, it's really bad. <laughs> not one I'll be bothering with. But it's nice to have a skill rune, a new skill rune on that skill. Um, just because uh, you can get the stats out of it if you level it up. Which, before we only had Mimic Bomb, which doesn't give any extra stats to your character. So, that's what it's for. Anyway, on to the next one. It's the Archer one. The Archer skill rune is interesting. It's probably the best out of these three. Um, however, it's not as powerful as Scorching Arrows. It's it's just uh, it's actually really nicely balanced, I think, because Scorching Arrows was always a bit too powerful. So the normal skill um, it adds a buff to your your basic attack, so it will do three stacks of up to uh, twenty five percent of your damage. They hit once per second and they hit three times. Scorching Arrows is exactly the same, except it turns the um, it adds extra damage on top of that twenty five percent, which is fire. Um, I can't remember now off the top of my head whether the 25% becomes fire, whether it stays uh, stays normal element. But anyway, it adds a ton of damage. And then Shadow Cannon, it doesn't do it as damage over time. Instead, it does it instantly. So it only does one lot of 25%. And then, um, uh, so it reduces the, the normal damage. And then it adds Shadow Damage on, which is 25% plus 15,000. Which looks, at, looks more than Scorching Arrows. However, because it's only one time rolling three, it's much less. Plus, um, most people have more fire than shadow. So, since this boss is weak to shadow, um, oh, actually, I should probably mention first, it also takes double the mana consumption. So, it takes 10 mana per shot, which means it drains your mana really fast. So, you want to be toggling it on and off constantly. You can't just kind of toggle it on and then, then go fight. Uh, it drains your mana too quickly. So, um, yeah, the way I'm going to show it is simply by putting on this buff. Um, Actually, yeah, it's on or off. Okay, we'll have it off. So if you look at the boss's health, look how fast it goes down. That's how fast it is without. Now I've toggled it on. And I'll be toggling it on and off just because of the mana consumption. And you can see when it's on, that's how fast it goes down. Now I'm going to switch to Scorching Arrows. Um, I've just got to try and turn it off because it's a bit of a pain to turn off. All right, there we go. So if you remember how fast that is, then we'll look at Scorching Arrows. So we toggle that on, and then watch the speed, the health goes down. They're practically the same speed, and this is with 50% uh, Shadow Bonus and Fire Bonus, it's the same. So yeah, they're basically the same, uh, they do the same damage output um, if you have your elements the same, and Shadow is what they're weak to, so Shadow's doing double. So it's definitely significantly weaker than Shadow arrow, uh, Scorching Arrows, plus... Um, most people have fire higher than shadow, but it's nice that they've they've added one which is kind of balanced. Uh, actually, 
I don't really know <laughs> because there's no real use since there's um, scorching hours is so much better. But yeah, anyway, kind of interesting, and I'm glad that they put something balanced in um, as an alternative to scorching hours. I wish scorching hours was kind of like that um, as well. Like that probably would have been better because currently that is a huge, huge damage output buff, and um, it's a little bit, a little bit too powerful in my opinion. I prefer to have that much damage output spread out over multiple skills, like for example have Mark of Emission being powerful, sn Sniper 1 being powerful, Scorching Arrows 1 being powerful, and then together they become really powerful, rather than having Scorching Arrows which is just way better than the others. Uh, but anyway, on to the Night School Rune. The Night School Rune is uh, another interesting one, um, but unfortunately not very good. It's for Enrage. Enrage was well overdue another School Rune, like Mimic really, and um, the old one uh, people, some people like this. I know some people who like this. Um, the skill itself, all it does is it gives you guaranteed crit. It gives you auto crit for seven seconds, and it's got a cooldown of forty-five seconds. So it really doesn't match up compared to uh, some of the other skills on offer. Um, Boiling blood means that um, each time you take damage, then um, oh yes, yes, it is. So it's instant. There's no chance. Just instantly, as soon as you take damage, your fire stat increases by twenty percent. And that can't happen any more than once per second. Um, so obviously there's a limit to it. But it increases your fire damage output considerably. So if you time, say for example, an empowered fire blade at the end. Um, and you've taken lots of hits. You know, hits for the whole time. Then you can do lots of damage with, with a hit like that. Um, that's why I know some people liked it. This new one, um, what it does is there's a chance of it activating when you get hit. 25% chance. And when you do get hit... Uh, so when it does go off, there's a little animation for it. I think it can only happen once per second again. And um, it stacks up to four. Oh no, sorry. It can definitely happen more than once per second. <laughs> it's a chance. And it just uh, it rockets up your, your stats. Um, so it does both damage and armor. Literally those stats. It uh, It's not damage reduction. It's armor. So your armor can double and your damage can double. But obviously it's only if you're getting hit and you have to get hit quite a lot for it to activate four times, I mean that's 16 times on average you need to get hit. Um, and since it's only seven seconds duration, you can't really pull it off to actually deal much more damage. Um, yeah. <clears throat> the armor buff is a, a nice kind of alternative to to uh, Boiling Blood, I guess. But I would otherwise take for damage output, I prefer Boiling Blood to be honest. But either way, the skill doesn't become effective because of this. Um, it's it's still not good. Oh, why do I use it now? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be doing this event properly now. Um, you can see I'm taking damage. The other ones I kind of went cheating. Um, all right, we actually want them to take down the angels. I'll fight for a little bit. I know a lot of knights who had uh, trouble with this event because this this boss is a bit annoying. Um, he does a lot of damage with some of his attacks. And um, Oh no, oh, I didn't need to back off. It's uh, He does this uh, big hit attack that like fires off light over and over and over random. Okay, so we're going to use it now, and I'm going to open the stats page so you can see my stats just rocketed up there. So it does happen, and a way to do it effectively is to have uh, Lord of Winter Angelic Form active. Um, so then you can tank the hits and just benefit from the damage buff, basically. Um, so I'll do it in a second when I'm actually gonna. Actually, I should probably kill off. Yeah, I'll kill off these enemies, and um, then we'll get some more enemies out and hopefully pull it off again. Uh, the cooldown on it is just horrible. I mean, I have a cooldown pot active right now, which uh, does big help. Do do do. Pull that off. Da da da. Come on, enemies, come in. Yes, there we go. Okay. So now we can do it. Now I'm actually going to stay. Do you see that little shadow animation over the top of me? It's like a big beam coming down. Uh, that's it. Activating. So, you know, each time that happens, um, you've just got 25% damage. Extra boost. The armor won't do that much, to be honest. Um, so it's really that damage boost that you're looking at. Uh, but, yeah. Hmm. Some people might find use out of it, but I don't think it's particularly strong. It doesn't stand out to me. Oh, no, not that move. Okay. Let's finish this up. 
I feel like I've I've gone so far. I've got to kill the boss now. Let's see if we can finish him off with some damage boosted on. It's annoying you can't see the damage so, e so nicely, um, so easily in this game, because I really would like to see, you know, some numbers here to kind of put it more in. What's the word? More in context. Anyway. Um, that's it for the skill ring showcases. I hope you liked them. And um, unfortunately, these three skill rings were only available through a purchase uh, with real money. So I haven't got them yet. And hopefully they'll become available sometime soon. As well as those fire ones. I was using one of them here, Volcano Eruption. Uh, those fire ones are very strong. It's the shadow ones which aren't so strong. Uh, which is a slight shame. But they can add... Um, the knight and wizard ones can be used to add stats up to your character, which the old scorings couldn't do and um, that was something that was missing on both knights and, and wizards wizards especially they have loads of scorings uh, skills that don't have new scorings on them uh, so they're actually really behind on the stats whereas archers have uh, very few of their skills which don't have new scorings on them yet um, anyway that's it for the scorings video thanks very much for watching um, I am actually away for two weeks uh, so, which is why this video is delayed and um, I won't be doing any more videos or any more guide writing or anything for those two weeks. Um, I just decided that basically I'd like to keep playing and stuff in my time away. And that's really all I can have time for. I can't do all the extra stuff. So um, I released my jewels guide. Um, there's actually loads of stuff I want to make. Uh, loads of videos and, and stuff I want to make. Because they this year, since, since the new year, they've changed the way tournament rewards go out. They've changed the way um, event... Uh, fabled items are done. Um, they've changed the way dragons work and they've um, uh, done some few things with PvP leaderboards like for example right now they have this uh, new setup. This is a one day leaderboard and they've got a superior elite jewel on it which is really nice. I wanted <laughs> I wanted them to do that. Um, and uh, yeah they've, they've changed so many things. I want to be making videos and guides for stuff so um, I will have lots to do when I get back, <laughs> but right now I'm away and I don't want to don't have to go through all that. So um, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you look forward to the, uh, the dragon videos which I'll be bringing out. Um, I'll see you in two weeks. Thanks very much.